Most people know Laredo Taft because they've been to Chicago and they've seen either the Fountain of the Great Lakes or they've often seen the Fountain of Time, which is on the Midway. This new book, Laredo Taft's the Chicago Years, will also bring out the side of him as an educator, which will show that he was rather an equal opportunity employer and educator at the Art Institute of Chicago, where he taught women, minorities, African Americans, Jewish Americans. Everyone worked together in his studio as equals, as associates. Laredo Taft was an important element of the Chicago World's Fair of 1893. He helped build the sculpture that was on several of the buildings at the World's Fair. In 1910, he held a big press conference in which he presented his plans for the Midway. That is that long strip of land that goes from Jackson Park all the way out to Washington Park. On one end, he wanted to put in a fountain of time, which was eventually built in the 1920s. On the other end, he was going to build a massive fountain called the Fountain of Creation. The two fountains would be connected by a long canal, and that canal would have three major bridges on it and be surrounded by a park with large sculptures. Most of this was never realized. However, Taft made, carefully made models of every component of this plan. The Fountain Creation would have involved about 38 to 40 figures built in a semicircular shape around a large pool. And at the very center is the main story of the Fountain of Creation. It's based on the story of Deucalion and Pyrrha. This is an ancient Greek myth that Deucalion and Pyrrha were going to be the only two humans left alive after the gods flooded the entire world and erased the human race. After the flood, Deucalion and Pyrrha appealed to the gods and asked them, how are we going to repopulate the earth? The oracle answered with a riddle. The riddle was, that they must throw the bones of their mother over their shoulders. Deucalion and Pyrrha interpreted the riddle as the bones being the stones of Mother Earth. They tossed those over their shoulders, and when these stones hit the ground, they turned into new human beings. A new race of humans was born. Here you can see them af just after they've tossed these things over their shoulders, and some of their children are beginning to coalesce around them. The rest of the fountain had figures in different states of coming into being, changing from a stone into a human being. Only four of those were actually carved in full scale. Here I am standing by the daughters of Deucalion and Pyrrha. As the stone changes into a body, you see these bodies emerging directly from the rough hewn block. It goes through a painful process of transformation. These figures are grabbing their heads. They're coming into being. They're twisting, they're forming new bodies. Laredo Taft to Chicago Years not only focuses on 50 years of Taft's career from 1886 when he returned from France to Chicago until his death in 1936, it talks about nearly every major work that Laredo Taft ever made.